What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this Illuminance Analysis using Revit. Now what's really cool about this Illuminance Analysis it, it's that it can be done using rendering in cloud. So not only will you be able to save up your processing time for your computer but it's also a great addition to your project it makes your project look way more thought out and thought through and it's just cool to have something like this on your drawing next to next to your flo floor plans and everything else but before i get started i would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already i suggest you subscribe because i make tutorials like this every day Okay, so here I am in Revit and this is the house in question. This is just a project I'm doing for school right now. And now I'm just going to go here to the floor plan. And this is the the base level floor plan. And if you're interested in how to create cool looking graphics like this, uh, make sure to check out the video linked in the description of this video. But anyway, so let's just set up a camera view for this. So let me do an interior view. And this illuminance analysis is usually best just to do as an interior view rather than anything else because it's kind of a pointless to do it outside because it's it's going to be way too bright. But anyway, so I'm just going to set up the view like this. Maybe look kind of like that. Yeah, this looks nice. Okay, and as you can see here I have this kind of a CAD underlay drawing so I'm just going to turn that off because it's annoying me so I'm just going to go into VG and turn off all imported categories. Okay, so we've got a 3D view that we want to render and to do our analysis and to see how much light enters this room. So I'm just going to go here to view so you just go from architecture tab to view tab and you find this render in cloud option you go continue and if you're not signed in you would have to sign in of course and here you're just going to go for the output make sure to choose illuminance and you're going to get some options and you just need to hit render and it takes a while to upload the the scene to Revit to the to the Autodesk servers and then it will take a while for them to render your uh, your illuminance analysis and after it's done you'll be able to check it out over here so you just go see and see render progress and this is basically what you get wait for a second so it's kind of processing now so you can go here to view project and this is very project spe project specific so let's wait for a while and when you're done you get something that kind of looks like this so this is what you get in the end this is the end result and here you've got a little graph that helps you determine everything and here you can of course go and download this image to your computer and here we go this is now on our computer and we can place it on our presentation boards to add this illuminance effect to our presentation as well okay so that's pretty much it for this quick tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day